I joined Ericsson 11 years ago as an intern uh, when I was still in college. And then eventually, a couple of months later, when I was in my final year of studies, I've been offered a full-time position. So basically, I had the opportunity to both finish my studies successfully and uh, start my career with a great company. Well, the onboarding period was rather smooth. I had a lot of uh, nice, experienced senior colleagues who made the transition feel rather normal. Yes, in a way I can say that. Uh, coming from college, all I had were just some raw concepts. And basically when I started working, uh, I, I started translating some of those raw concepts into some actual things. And uh, I think that also my job role as an integration engineer also contributed a lot in a way that uh, I could feel and measure an immediate impact of the activities I was performing. The first promotion was this transition from an internship to a, to a permanent uh, position. And then during the years I was uh, promoted from a junior, a junior role to the most senior one. Well, I'm looking to enlarge my scope. That's why I'm currently preparing to become a solution architect. Now that I have a better understanding of Ericsson solutions and how all the pieces fit together. The latest major skill is containerization, meaning Docker and Kubernetes. Well, I decided that when I started working with 5G applications like about three years ago, so since most of these applications are built for cloud, it became kind of clear that this is a must-learn skill. My team is, without exaggerating, kind of a dream team in a way that we are a very diverse group of individuals working very well together. We share a large variety of skills across the board, skills that are easily shared between each other in a way that we have, um, um, for example, knowledge sharing sessions and uh, ad hoc meetings where, where we share activities. And even if there are a lot of activities, sometimes I feel that all the, all, all the work is performed with, um, without pressure and with a lot of flexibility in mind. Uh, yes, we are always looking to expand with new colleagues which are ready to learn and embrace new challenges, especially now with uh, 5G and cloud as hot topics. The pandemic didn't impact me too much, especially on the professional level. Uh, I think it was quite the opposite. It brought a lot of benefits on a personal level. For example, I have more time now for my, for my hobbies, like I can do some jogging in the, in the lunch break. Uh, yes, be perseverant. Success, because me and my company are growing together.